Hello, welcome to the world of Option View Systems International. Since 1983, makers of the finest options analytics software available to the trading public. Option View presents you with three different areas of great benefit for the options trader. Top left corner under the Home tab, we have items pertaining to decision making and analytics, portfolio management and testing, and then finally items related to scanning, scanning the options trading world for opportunities. Let's begin with decision making and analytics. What you're seeing here initially is the uh, quotes display. This list uh, of underlying assets is where we begin. You will not find specific option contracts located here. Instead you need to highlight and either double click or click on the matrix item up there to go to what we call a matrix. So Option View believes in going from the big picture to the small picture. Quotes display, underlying assets, going to the matrix where we show specific options contracts. Note here we have the calls on top, the puts on the bottom, and then going across the screen we have the different expirations, going all the way out to uh, farther months, etc., all the way out to leaps. Now, each cell has several parameters, the most important of which is the trade area. This screen is entirely customizable. We can certainly add more parameters per cell, but the trade area is where we input the number of contracts we're proposing to buy or sell. In this case, I'm putting in the purchase of a one lot 380 call in Tesla uh, for the expiration for the June 30th expiration. That's a weekly contract. All right, now from here, we go to the graphic analysis screen by clicking the uh, analyze button. And there we go. Let's get rid of the uh, target. No, I'm going to leave the target there, in fact. That's the shaded region. So what you're looking at here uh, are three lines related to the uh, possible reward and risk uh, for this long call trade. The solid blue line is the expiration line. That shows you how much money this trade would make as of expiration 16 days from now. And you could see in this case, if Tesla went up to $400 in 16 days, the position would make something just short of $1,200. If Tesla doesn't move much or even goes down, then we would lose all $850 needed to purchase this one contract. All right, now I want to show you another feature here because it's important uh, that we, we, you see we can link these side by side with each other. Okay, and so let's uh, go find that. Let's see, where were we? 380, there we go. There it is, perfect. And so take a look at this though. I want to show you that we can then link these two together and then... Uh, throw on another, another proposition here, and when I do so, the graphic analysis screen will change dynamically with each change in the matrix. Here I'm just proposing different call debit spreads, as you can see. All right, so this is from the big picture to the small picture, quotes display, matrix, graphic analysis screen. That's the core portion of the decision-making process that you'll see in Option View. Now, let's go to Portfolio Management and Testing. Let's close this, close this. And these, these are the buttons right up here pertaining to Portfolio Manager. You can do three things here. One, you can create an account that mirrors your brokerage account. We have a trade button that you can then go and select a few different brokers. You can also create accounts for testing purposes. I've created a couple hundred here over the years that I've used for different uh, uh, paper trading using Backtrader to test out various uh, approaches. And finally, you can use uh, Portfolio Manager to create option overlays. So let's say you have a portfolio of long stock or ETFs and they have a, a great relation with the SPX. The hedge finder item up here allows you to take a look at that portfolio 
Um, uh, risk and reward is the SPX moves up, the portfolio does well. As the if SPX goes down, the portfolio begins to fail. And uh, you see the little variance shaded regions here as well uh, in terms of how well the portfolio corresponds to the SPX. Most importantly, we can find a hedge and have the system find the best approach for creating an overlay here to hedge your whole portfolio. Here we're going to limit our downside to 5% and we're a, uh, we are open to selling call credit spreads to help pay for that. Let's continue and now you see a proposed hedge and how well that compares to the unhedged portfolio versus the hedged portfolio etc. So that's another feature we have in Portfolio Manager. Finally, we have scanning. Trade Finder, okay, this tool allows us to input our prediction for where the stock, uh, we feel the stock is going to go. It will then scan a variety of different strategies that you can select, and it will find the trade that best exploits your target uh, for where you think the stock is going to go. And we rank those in accordance with several different approaches. Uh, here I'm, ra I'm ranking these by a ratio of expected return if that target comes to pass divided by the worst case return should that target come to pass. Here obviously it's quite the bullish target. So that's Trade Finder. Next we have Survey. This enables you to query all of the volatility charts in Option View uh, in our database. And here I'm looking for um, uh, of the top 300 most liquid uh, option markets in the stock in the equities world um, in the stocks I'm looking for those that have the highest implied volatility from amongst those top 300 and that's what you see here in this list and of course uh, you have several different parameters for you to query those volatility charts it's a fantastic scanning tool and then finally we have OpScan. this enables you to customize your own queries uh, using an Excel type language is the best way to describe it if you can program functions in Excel you can certainly handle this here let's look at the unusual call activity report I just ran and this comes with your uh, trial version let's look at the report and today it came up with uh, and the, here we're looking for assets where the uh, call volume is uh, three times more than the put volume and we have a, a dramatic increase in total options volume as opposed to a five-day average. So let's take a look at the matrix for this. And I'm showing the uh, volume of the calls and puts. And sure enough, over here, look at someone put a spread on. <laughs> a huge 10,000 lot spread. Um, uh, very interesting. But you can see how it could pick that up in that query that we just did. Okay. So... That gives you a broad, broad overview of the Option View software program, decision making and analytics, portfolio management and testing, and some scanning tools. I look forward to seeing you in other presentations and getting into the details. Thank you very much.